everybody and welcome back to Country Cuz Hump Day Report here on Wednesday. Whew, I'm running late today because I done been up to Cold Hill and back uptown. Had to go up and get my mother's groceries for her. We done fed all the cats. I done watered the garden. I thought it was going to rain yesterday. Said we had a chance, but it didn't. Anyway, what we going to do today, I don't got you in on the Zoom in. I'm going to be playing the guitar and the lap steel, but I'm going to be answering some questions about some tuning. And I'm tuning in an open standard tuning with a Stratocaster. the word 440 to me said how do you tune your lap steel to play with uh, <coughs> band or musicians that's tuned in 440 well 440 is uh, just uh, uh, pretty much what I call an international standard tuning for everybody to tune their instruments to it ain't a certain tune you can tune in an open E or D or C sharp or drop D or whatever, uh, and you can still have it on a 440 because a 440 is a frequency. It ain't a tuning. There's a difference between tunings and frequencies, and I don't know how to explain them, but it's pretty much what you hear, not what you see. All right, I got my tuner here, so what I'll do, and this is a chromatic CA30 chord tuner. I love them. I've got two or three of them. But I'll hit this tuner. Like that. I wanna I don't wanna go and let it settle down because I wanted to tune on the attack. string up a hair. Same thing for the E. Some people that tune uh, to a different hurt, and I, I forget what it is. They call it the hurt that equals the earth pitch, uh, makes the axles turn. But anyway, to demonstrate now, so I tune this in a standard tuning of a guitar and then the lap steel. And I'm gonna pick it up and play it a minute. That's the difference. You can tune your lap steel in several different tunings just like you can. I could tune this guitar and open me and play that Keith Richards played some of his songs was in. But I think he used the open G. Alright, with that being said, I can tune this lap steel to open G, open D, uh, open E, open A, and come up with the same and put it on full party. With all them notes, that means your little hand on that chromatic tuner is on the 
dead center, which is 440, because right over there to the left is 430. You could tune an F sharp. I use a F sharp and a D, but still tuning it to 440. It's, it's your meter straight up. Now, I do recommend a chromatic tuner like that. You can tune a piano, a bass guitar, a fiddle, a banjo, and a lap steel in this guitar here. the E tuning and when you retune your guitar or uh, your guitar or your lap steel it's gonna still be in a 440 standard but now in a D a open lick on the lap steel would be a D and then where I go to, to uh, the fifth fret for my A on the lap steel uh, Well, I never forgot what it is, but it changes because it's a it's a A on there now. But it wouldn't be an A if it was tuned to D. I think it would be a G. I'm pretty sure. And then, then the next fret that I would be using to make the B with uh, the uh, ninth fret would turn into an A. Playing in a G on I right, you gonna be playing over a G chord on your guitar, no matter where it is. Now you might can play along with a play a G scale on there to improvise. what you can do and you'll see me and I'll try to tell you with the music going when I was playing in the G scale when they move to a C I'll either slide down to C and play the C up uh, there the uh the uh what is it the tenth note the eleventh fret but we we gonna do that and I'm gonna create you a backing track loop style thing right now and I'm gonna be quiet and I talk during the play and I'm gonna let it go around three times and I'm using, I don't know if you can see it, it's called a ditto looping paddle. And all it does is record the sound that comes out of your guitar going into the amp. It don't matter if you got or if you put a special effect on. Cut it off. Come on now. There 
there we go. All right, let's get started with our loop so I can loop myself on outside and have some fun playing in the dirt. Sounded 
the same, it was in sync, I would call it, with the guitar. <laughs> That would be how you do it. Now, when you play along with a record, that, that can get a little tricky, and, and you might, sometimes on some music, you can use a chromatic tuner, let's say, but you got to know what, you got to find out by watching the notes to what key they in. All right, let me give you an example. Let's say they play it in the key, and we'll go back to G right now, G. In the key of G, you would use a, a G, a C, and a D, and sometimes I'll use an A to set up to go to the uh, D. But now it ain't necessary that you do it that way. Some songs, uh, like rock and roll, go from a G to a B flat, a C, and an E flat. But there's a chart called the Nashville Number System on Google, and I know I've showed it to y'all many times. You can go in there and get that chart off of Google Images. And I like the one that's got the pink and green that someone made. I printed it out. Actually, I copied it. I, I hit the print screen copy and I blowed it up to fit a whole page so I could put it down when I'm teaching people that come over. Or maybe we play in our practice in a new song and we got to know what's relative to the key we're playing in. All right, let's say we're going to play in the key of D. And what it is, it's called a one chord, four chord, five chord, and a two chord, and so forth and on. In the key of D, one chord is D. Four chord in that progression will be a, a, a let's say it'd be a D, and then it'd be a, a, and then it'd be an E. Or let's say you're in the key of A, you would go an A, and and then you would go a D and an E. And the reason I stay in this 440 tuning is mainly because I know how to play the guitar and the frets are aligned the same with my bottom. And all the E's across are on the same fret and that makes the same note as I was using what I call an F position to play my strap. I hope that makes sense. And I hope that answered some questions. I hope that helped somebody. And if it didn't, I hope you enjoyed the music we was playing. Just a good little tune for the Hump Day Report. And I'm so far away, but I'm sure y'all can see me. I'm looking at you in this little tiny screen, and I don't know what y'all looking at on, but right now we got beautiful weather. I've actually got, finally, I've got baby peppers, about yay high, I just watered them this morning, but I got a whole tray of 72 coming up, of banana pepper, and I already got, I got a bell pepper about that tall, some of it's blooming, I've got a tomatoes that tall with blooms all over them, uh, and I've got spinach, and I've got lettuce and cabbage. I've got corn that's helping for the part of the hogs to work. Oh, I've got cantaloupe planted in the very back, so I got a lot going on. And uh, oh, I've got cucumbers, and uh, I've got pole beans. I'm going to put a trellis of it to come up, but I'm not sure they're going to come up because I got somebody give me the seed. I didn't know how old they were, but in Kentucky Blue Lake pole beans. Don't think I've ever planted those, but I'll keep you posted. If I have pole beans, we'll go out and do a video on that too. All right? Uh, so anyway, that right there is about what's going on today. I hope each and every one of y'all have a blessed week out there. I hope you're uh, not a subscriber. I hope you hit the subscribe button. Go down there and subscribe up to the channel. And I hope to see you on Facebook, uh, and I hope to see you here on our YouTube channel, and actually I got a Twitter channel too, but I don't tweet much, but you know, that might happen later, who knows, at one time I was putting videos up there. Anyway, y'all come back to 
see if you're here.